out to the Moab area and sunset just went down back there tonight our goal is we've changed we're not gonna go to arches uh, tonight to shoot we're gonna go down to Canyonlands again we're gonna go down to a similar area as the last time that we were down here to shoot Milky Way uh, but a slightly different area uh, it's gonna be around Dead Horse Point but instead of actually being at Dead Horse Point we're gonna take one of the side roads that kind of goes down the canyon or kind of down the cliffs and then gets a little lower into the canyon and overlooks the river that way. And I think in doing so and in, in doing that, we will be able to get a little bit, you know, incorporate a little bit more of the river and the canyons and the cliffs and the walls and all the rock and everything into the foreground with the Milky Way coming up in the, you know, uh, in the sky. And I think that'll make for a really awesome shot. So that's the plan tonight. And then tomorrow morning, probably shoot sunrise from a similar area down there because, again, that's going to be a really a perfect view east uh, for the sunrise. So we'll probably shoot sunrise there. And then tomorrow, I'm thinking, in, you know, we'll have most of the day tomorrow to just kind of explore around. Then we'll come back up to Arches and um, we'll do some shooting up around Arches then. Uh, just kind of get some midday shots and kind of poke around. I've never been to Arches before, so I think that'll be fun to do. And then tomorrow night, we're gonna go back down to Canyonlands uh, for the Milky Way shoot. And tomorrow night, I'm planning, the idea is to go to an area called White Rim Overlook. And that, from the maps and the pictures, both has a perfect view to the southeast where the Milky Way is gonna rise. And it looks like it looks over just some wild terrain with canyons and river and stuff. So uh, that's the plan for tomorrow night. Go down and look for that. So tonight's looking really good. There has not been a cloud in the sky all day. Uh, so we are, we've made it to Canyonlands and it's well after sunset now and it's dark and we're driving down to the area that I had in mind and I have to say I was not expecting the road to be what we're driving down. I will try to show you but I'll have to show you better in the morning because the road that we're driving down, I'm not kidding you, in some places it's just the road on the side of a thousand foot cliff probably. Like it's cliff up behind us if you can tell. I don't know how much you can see up there but it's cliff up there. We're on a little bit of a round out here. And uh, yeah, I'll try to walk as close as I'm comfortable, but I have a very, very healthy fear of heights. Let me see what we can see out here. Very careful, very carefully. There's a bush here. Holy shit. So, uh. Yeah, I'm walking very carefully because right there, that edge that my light's shining on, it's a uh, thousand feet down into the canyon. I was not expecting that when I chose this road as the way to get down to our chute. So I'm gonna back up because I'm literally getting shivers down my spine. This is getting the blood flowing for sure. Um, the road hasn't been too bad. The road's in good shape so far, which is nice. Um, but I was not expecting that to be driving down. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna keep going though. I, you know, like I said, the road's all right, so I think we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep exploring. And uh, when I get a chance tomorrow morning, as we're driving back out, I will show you where we are, like what kind of cliff we're standing on top of. But the pucker factor is a 10 out of 10 right now. Okay, we're posted up and I think we found a little bit of a wider spot in the road here. 
and uh, I think we're going to try to turn it. We're going to try to turn around because neither of us are comfortable with the way the road is starting to look because uh, it's getting very thin, and we're coming to some very steep switchbacks here. But uh, yeah, Jacqueline's kind of <laughs> just went and tried to. That's the edge. Like literally, this is the road. So that's the rock face there that we're driving under, and like you know, that's super tall and steep. That's the rock face. That's the road and then literally the edge is right there. That's just off into the abyss down there. We're right near the island in the sky spot, which is an area that I had thought about going to. Um, and so I think we'll probably, I, I will use that as a plan B, we'll go there. Um, I think we'll both be a lot more comfortable being up there. So in the meantime, because we do have some time to kill um, before the Milky Way actually comes out, uh, I figure, you know, we'll walk down the road a little bit and just kind of see what it looks like, see what we can show you. All right, so this is the first switchback here, which actually, if we're gonna turn around, let's come do it here. This looks a lot wider. Yeah, let's come turn around, we'll do it here. Mine's hiking steep, but driving my car on steep is not something I wanna do. <laughs> okay, we're about to do the turnaround and I'm gonna guide her because it, it like I said, it's a big cliff. So. A little further. That's good. You can probably make that. So yeah, that's uh, that's the cliff that we're on top of. But yeah, that's the cliff that we're on top of. Just barely make it out there. But and the abyss is down there. There we go. And now we're head, gonna head on back up the road there. We're gonna go to Plan B up at Island in the Sky. So here we go. Um, once we get out and we're actually shooting the Milky Way and the, and the stars and stuff, I'm not really going to try to be bringing my headlamp out too much because uh, I don't want to ruin our shot or anyone else's shot and I want to let my eyes adjust to the dark. Um, so, you know, I might talk a little bit, especially away from the cameras, you know, back by the car. But uh, I think, you know, most of it will probably just be just, you know, a lot of B-roll and stuff of shooting and the, and the cameras running and stuff. And then I'll kind of do a recap tomorrow morning, I think. Because, yeah, I mean, you know, GoPro's not that good at night. And I don't, like I said, I don't want to use the headlamp more than I need to because I want to, you know, maintain the night vision. I don't want to get any extra light spilling into the shots. I want it to be at all, all natural. From here, we drove to our first location for attempting a Milky Way shot. Though we struggled to find a composition that we liked in the dark, and having enough time to make a move, we did, to Mesa Arch, where I was able to find shots and compositions all night long. In the next episode, we walk back out to Mesa Arch to photograph sunrise and spend the morning shooting unique shots at a classic spot.